The savings on these things are at 300 bucks a ton. Um, you're looking at pellets at, at, at oil at what about 265 a gallon. Well, I've been burning wood all my life since I've been a little kid. Dad's made me haul in, haul in firewood, so burning wood was uh, 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 just natural for me. Um, I was looking at upgrading my wood heating, wood burning system in my house with another wood stove, and then as I started getting into wood pellets, I decided, you know, I better, I better uh, start to practice what I'm preaching here. Let's try wood pellets. So I installed two pellet stoves in my house and uh, this fall and uh, have found them to be um, um, exceeding my expectations. Um, they are just uh, really well engineered systems, uh, very convenient, they're clean, um, um, you know the programmable thermostats that, that start the things up at 4.30 in the morning and I've got a warm house when I get up, um, my wood stove never did that. Uh, and this is kind of a, one of the smaller moderately priced units. I think this thing goes for Oh, probably about 2,500 bucks. I bought this one and my and the one upstairs at, um, combined. I installed this one myself, easy to install. Uh, pretty much drill a hole, put a little thimble that the thing goes through the wall between the studs. Uh, any, any guy that's got a saw and a screwdriver can pretty much install this thing. And it just plugs right into like a normal... Is that it plugged plug, into the outlet? Plug there. So it doesn't take that much. It, re it requires some electricity. I put a... Uh, I put a, uh, um, a, a kilowatts meter on it to see how much, how much electricity mm -hmm. this thing draws. It, 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 at Juno rates um, um, of 11.4 cents per kilowatt hour, it would draw about, um, it cost me about $2.34 a month of electricity to run this thing. The pellets go into this little bin up here. Yeah. Take a look at this. Rabbit food. Rabbit yeah. food. They all slide down. The, the bin is kind of sloped in all angles, so it all slopes down into there. Uh, so it's going to drop in a little handful of pellets. There's a little heating element, a little electric heating element that's down in this little little cup. And I apologize for here. I put this thing right on end. And I haven't cleaned this thing out. Quite, I've been gone for a while, so there's a little bit of ash that's built up in here. Usually about once a week, I clean this out. So you have this little cup right here. This, and this is just like a cast steel cup. And there's some little holes that you can see down in the cup. There's a, a single fan, a combustion fan, that is sucking air through these combustion holes and through this whole whole system. So and, yeah, you don't have it, any so backdraft or anything. Yeah, this like is that. a negative there's so this thing is in negative pressure. It's sucking everything yeah. through and blowing it out through the stack here. And, and so the, the design on this system with all these little holes, and there's a bunch down below, is to take and pull air right across into this little, like about a golf ball size pile of pellets that's sitting down at the bottom here. This little white thing here is a, is a temperature sensor. So that's the thing that's kind of controlling, uh, telling the control system in here how hot this thing is. So it's sensing the flames and it's saying, add more pellets, run the fan a little bit faster, run the fan slower, pump in pellet, more pellets, you know. So it's, this is the thing that gives it the feedback on what it should do. Mm -hmm. It's fired up. This thing will put out, um, I think this is 34,000 BTUs, if I remember, or 28 or something. I forget what the rating is on this one. I think my one upstairs is 42,000 BTUs. So this is a little bit smaller unit. Um, and... Uh, it, so you've, there's two fans operating in this thing. There's only one that's going right now. And that's the combustion fan. So that's the fan that's blowing the combust, sucking air in, sucking it into the combustion chamber, and blowing it out the stack. And it's still taking a little bit to get this fire going. We've had the door open and stuff, so we've probably kind of screwed up the cycle so a little it's, bit. It's just blowing combustion air from the uh, from the room, and it's case. sucking combustion air from the room. You can put an outside air kit on these things, so you could pull in outside okay. air if you want. In this in this room, it's so leaky and stuff. I'm not too worried sure. about it. Okay. Then after things get up to a certain temperature and the whole thing gets going, then the, the convection fan kicks on, which starts blowing out air through these through these vents and stuff. And it's uh, this is more than enough heat to get this this all this space up to whatever temperature I want. This, this is my pellet tracking system that I've implemented this year. Uh, so every time I grab a bag of pellets, I mark them. So for the shop, that's what I've that's what I've used so far this year. Once a week or so. You open these. You open, you open up these little panels. You sweep the ash down into into here, or you can just take and stick your vacuum in here and vacuum them out. Either one. The ash goes 
ash goes down into this little tray. Okay. And then pull. you can just empty that. You pull the tray out and you dump it, and I dump it in my compost bin. There's, there's, it's just, it's just wood ash. You dump it on the ground. There's no disposable issues with it at all. And if you have the little fan running, it's sucking outwards, so you don't, you'll know there's not any ash floating around in the air. It's really clean yeah. compared to burning wood. You know, your your pellets come in a bag like this. Yeah. You pour them in here. You've got almost well, I got a little, I was a little messy dumping it, but there's like there's just no fuss, no muss with this. If you burn a lot of pellets, maybe a couple times a year, you would pop open a couple of panels on the inside and vacuum it all out and clean it out, and, and a couple little ports on the. Uh, on the, on the back side of it, maybe it takes you half an hour once you get familiar with it. It's like a once a year kind of cleaning. Um, cleaning the, 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 the stack, generally almost nothing requires. Not like a wood stove. You're not going to get a bunch of creosote up your stack. If your stove's running properly, you may get a little ash build up in the stack over time. It's nothing like, a, like having to worry about a chimney fire like you would with a wood stove. Okay. The day that I yanked out my oil-fired boiler uh, was one of, the, one of the happier days of my life. Uh, to, 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 to yank out the old um, fire fire breathing dragon was uh, was uh, gave me a, a great deal of satisfaction.